Hello, dear viewers. Welcome to the online student academy channel. In this tutorial, we shall see how to import survey one into civil review. It is important to note that there exist two methods of importing survey data into civil review. Let's click on the text in order to visualize the two techniques. The first technique is by clicking on one from file that is import the waypoint directly from a file found or located in our local drive into the drawing section of civil PD. And the second thing is by importing the waypoint directly in the created survey data is Throughout this tutorial, we shall emphasize more on the technique of importing survey points directly in a survey database. And to that, we have to create our survey database. In order to create our survey database, we make sure that we are on the two things that are on survey click on survey on the door based uh, window we move on survey database we right click and click and set the working folder and we put the folder where we want to run our survey database we set our working folder in browse to desktop like it like we save the survey Read the thing and we click on the folder. Automatically, our database is the so the three three D thing folder on sound on my desktop. So let's create now our survey database by clicking on the clicking uh, on new local survey database. We input the name as the user user training. That thing, that the, 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 the. Okay. We are through with by, create, by creating our survey data is. Let us now import survey form. You can we can we can see that our survey is a bit empty. There's no point in more survey point. That no point appear at this level. No points, no points appear. We go on figure group, no figure group, figures, no figures. So, in order for, for points to appear, you have to input points into the, the data list. And to do that, go on input event, I clean input survey point. Okay. This assistant appear, this assistant will help us to input our point, our point into the data list. But before we input survey point in the database, it is required to put our edit the database. And to edit the database means that we do a coordinate system to our point. Okay, and to do that, we go on edit survey database. Okay, remember that this point, uh, point found in the Cameroon, sorry, in Yaoundé. So we into the the coordinate system of Cameroon uh, now we input the category that the datum and the projection. So we put the datum and the projection. We move on UTM 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 uh, UTM is UTS is four. The projection is UTM and the datum is UTS four. Now the zoom. In the projected zone, the only the only UTM zone that we UTM zone that we UTM zone that two node to two node we apply and our coding system has to set. We got okay. If you now on next, we start to input. 
input our import our sorry uh, to import our survey data okay we have two methods of importing which are which, which is of great interest to us as you know the importing it from the file or importing it directly from from the boy and that we have points already existing in point seven and far to our survey database we shall go on point from there going but if those point does not yet exist in our point we want to import them from the file on our local drive you see on point from file on our local drive right so here you can go to the desktop 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 and the turn that are using the text file that contains a survey breakpoint I click okay clicking it clicking uh move with visualize a point that consists of uh this point consists of uh, the first column you send the, the point number yeah, the system the node the point elevation and the hold so we move now on we move we go back to our cd we browse the point the point is located Desktop. On my desktop, on CV3, we bring in the run data and input and choose our point format point DENZ. Then for the point D, then for the elevation, the eating, the nodding, Z, the point elevation and the description and we the next, next, next. At this level, we verify that instead of the waypoint mark, so it is allowing us to use that uh, this point will not be imported to our file. Now, if you want to assign offset to point and require we click on no, if you want to apply a instead of the work, it never exists in our in our waypoint. We simply click on yes, but we can do instead in our file. But for the for this video. We are interested on detecting the way point in the object and we will not finish. Our survey point has been included in, in, in our, the, our data base at the same time in our working screen. So we make sure we can do it, we can do it, let's say, uh, uh, You realize that some point has all the solution with the upgrade, meanwhile, some have the default setting with a cost. Uh, it's UI summit after uh, all the solution uh, well but you still have default settings uh, this one you have benchmark uh, so you have benchmark all the different and you still have the default settings ok this is because uh, you go on a post, uh, post, uh, protector go on point uh, we see that we uh, go on that point and that point uh, we go on setting and if we go on point, we go on vision key, we go on the TV TV template, we go on TV. We realize that the other half this uh, point has a main field cost of the uh, this code, uh, this code that uh, is in the under and the default the TV TV template in our uh of view of the of, of our software. Others we, we don't read have a code for uh, for the world uh, another for benchmark in the next part of the year we shall see how to create description keys and ap apply them to our point that to just to display them the very of uh, thanks for watching for those who have not here to subscribe to our community do not forget to like, share, and comment. Stay tuned.
kepada parti komputer tu 